Hey yo, Erica and her fish back here with my platy fish. So Rio did three doses of Canaplex. Uh, the first dose and the first 48 hours, he was in a smaller temporary habitat. I think it's like 1.75 gallons. And then I moved him to the 20 gallon quarantine. I didn't originally put him in there because this fry was in that tank. But... I ended up moving him over here so that I could treat Rio in the quarantine tank. I'm unsure if he'll be okay with the adults. This is just about a little over two months old. I found him... Oh, it's only one month. It was August 17th. So I don't know if I can let him out. But I added some of the hornwort that I ordered. And in my second order, I got that Anubius gold coin in the back. It's actually on this suction cup ledge. I got from Marcus Fish Tanks and it's so cool. I like it. I just put plants all over the glass. And then my smaller snail actually died. I'm not sure if it's starved because the platies always eat the algae wafers. Um, but it wasn't moving all weekend. I checked it, I think, on Saturday or Sunday night, and he did move a little bit. And then on Monday, I um, noticed he was on his back. So I reached in there, and I was going to do the smell test, and then like part of him shifted. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe he's okay. And I was like, maybe I should smell him. So I pulled him all the way out and I smelled him. And as I was smelling him, I couldn't smell anything. His whole body just slid out of his shell. It was freaky. Um, but he wasn't moving. And I waited a little while, poked at him. And then eventually put his body in a plastic bag. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, the big snail, though, is still in here somewhere. There he is. There's also Bingo. But yeah, so I'm down to the one mystery snail and the near right with Ruthless. So let me go over here. So Ruthless got a cool sea shelter at sea like s-e-e -E, because you can see them as they go through it because it's suctioned to the glass i got it off of etsy it was like 11 dollars, not counting shipping i think she likes it she goes through it she can even rest on top of it and then I got another one of those ledges with some java moss. It's tied with thread for now until it anchors itself or grows through the little holes on it. I'm not really sure. I'm new to moss. <laughs> Trying to wait for her to go through. I haven't really seen her lay on the moss yet. I never really saw her lay on her beta hammock that was in there. 
she'll swim over it, but she never hangs out there. And there's the near right in here somewhere. I have found him inside of that log, little mushroom log stump. I feel like this is enough plants for her little tank. I don't want it. Um, I still want some nitrates in here for the plants. I don't want it to be zero. I've learned that's a good goal with plants. Mm, it looks like she's not going to go through there. So let me move up. Because. Yeah, she's really not going to go through. I have Monstro in here. Her and Rio just switched today. Um, I did a 50% water change and then um, turned down the heater, I'm trying to aim for about 74 with her in here. It's 76 going into 74, so we're getting there. I hooked up the sponge filter just because... She's got a lot of waste. <laughs> She's a big girl. And I don't want her to crash the cycle all by herself. Um, but I did Canaplex in the water. She's still eating the Metroplex medicated food. I'm going to make some more of that and keep feeding her in Jupiter. Um, I think the directions say up to three weeks or until the infection clears. She, Monstro has been still spending a lot of time up in that top corner and being upside down wherever she can be. Like she really chooses to be upside down because she can swim around fine and stay upright. It's really like she just goes over there to go upside down and I took out the clay pot that was in here because she still kind of has a bit of that bump on her head she's her fins have been healing for a few months, like since she first got sick, back when I was trying to cycle this tank, mm, she's been going up and down. I think she's scratching herself, but she'll be spending the next week. about six days in here with the canoplex every two days I did do a water change in between the doses well like I did a water change in the big tank before I put Rio in here and then I did a water change before and that was the second dose and then I did a water change before the third dose and watched a video that said you shouldn't do any water changes because you should let the medication build. So I'm not too sure. Rio's does still have a bump. But I did the three doses and it says maximum three doses and then I think you need to wait and give it some time before you can treat again. So, I wanted Monstro in here because I'm really hoping the Canaplex will work for her on so many different levels. And she's getting the medicated food. Hmm. 
And then I put some of these live plants in here. I was contemplating taking out the red rocks just because she keeps scratching herself on it, but I'm not sure. And then onward. So here's Jupiter. She's getting the same medicated food. I've got two hornworts that I've added in here and my crinum calamistratum. I finally got it down. Chinese evergreen, java fern, java fern window love, more java fern, golden pothos. I really like the crinum. It's the only plant I have that needs to be planted, but it looks really cool. So Jupiter has been, <clears throat> excuse me, eating the medicated food, and it's mostly just because she eats all of the food. Um, but the other day I did notice that she had this big long white poop, like white stringy poop. And she's never really had that before. I mean, it always looked like regular poop that the actual poop fell out of the casing. Um, but this one really looked kind of freaky. So I'm thinking I'm clearing something out of Jupiter. So I'm going to keep her on the medicated food with Monstro. And then... Um, I just don't feel like she needs the Canaplex. I have heard of people using it in quarantine scenarios, um, but she's really fine. I thought she would be kind of sad that I abducted Monstro, but she's doing okay. She's been foraging, going back and forth. yeah my plants i'm no no good at aquascaping the only thing i know is that crinum should be right in the middle i am thinking of maybe replacing the air stone with the other sponge filter that i have i've had it in the quarantine tank for a couple months now so i feel like it's got enough beneficial bacteria that's why I wanted to use it while cycling um, or I could just buy another one and let it sit in here for a month or so before I eventually replace the air stone I'm not really having any filtration problems it's just I don't know Seeing Monstro in the other tank with kind of a lower flow, it looks nice. But that's what I've been up to. Buying plants, treating fish, taking care of fish and their water. goldfish tank got their water change on Monday I've been doing a lot of water changes on the 20 gallon but I have the hook for the python which makes refilling a breeze and I just hope Monstro gets better and better So that's it for this update. Thank you for watching Erica and her fish. You guys stay safe.